my name is Nick Knight um, and my photography started by making a complete cross from the world of science into the world of the arts. And now I work with a lot of fashion clients like Christian Dior and Alexander McQueen and Vivian Westwood and you know the people who are interested and exciting now I've found are more in the fashion world so that's where I've found my most of my body of my work. At a certain period in um, my career I felt that I'd had enough of fashion I just wanted to get out of it for a while and I you know like every other child in Britain I'd been to the Natural History Museum the Victoria Albert Museum and I guess it, naturally I wanted to do something that, that felt that it had more I guess a larger relevance to life. There's one gallery that I particularly like which is the Mineral Gallery which um, is one of those really old-fashioned galleries where you have specimens in glass cabinets through studying these and looking at them, I've become increasingly aware of looking at things in three dimensions, which isn't how as a, a photographer or a filmmaker you approach things. And actually just having these specimens and walking around them and looking at them from different angles actually made me start thinking about just a different way of looking at, at image making. Coincidentally to that, there's been in the last, I suppose, I could be 10 years now, the advent of something called 3D scanning. So going to the Victoria and Albert Museum and looking at sculptures in there became a way of studying you know, how classically people approach sculpture. I looked at lots of different sculptures and I didn't focus down onto one particular one and say, you know, this, I want to emulate this. I did, there's no point. All I was trying to do is see how different artists over the years had approached sculpture and representation of the human form. But of course, as I say, they're not coming at it through the idea of it being a photograph, they're coming at it through the idea of it being you know, a, a sculpture and that's, that's all their training. My fundamental belief is that fashion is important in our society and for the last 10 years I've run a website called Show Studio. The advent of the internet is enormously important. It gives us one of the truly two-way mediums. Interactivity is something that hasn't really happened very much in the arts before. One of the first projects on Show Studio was a 3D scanning film. I'm trying to create fashion sculpture, which I mean in a way it's like the fashion photograph. It's a moment condensed down. It's a particular uh, collision of shapes and form and emotion, but as a sculpture as, as opposed to a 2D object. I was asked by the Natural History Museum to do an exhibition that dealt with man's relationship to plants. To offer me a, a thank you for doing the exhibition, they said, you know, is there anything you'd like to do with us? And throughout doing the research into plant power, I discovered the Natural History Museum's herbarium, which is a fantastic uh, resource. And it stretches the whole of the length of the Natural History Museum. And they have six and a half million samples in there. And I was shown some, and I fell in love with them. I thought they were incredible. For the next three and a half years, um, Charlotte, who's my wife, uh, and I spent every bit of spare time we had going through the herbarium samples and then at the end of it, uh, we whittled down from, I can't remember however many thousands that we looked at and hundreds that we photographed, to 40. And they were published in a book called Flora. But it was a very, very, very enjoyable time for me. It was a sort of sanctuary for three and a half years. You know, there was this whole range of things there. Um, and I just found the whole thing joyful and fascinating. It affected the rest of my career quite profoundly. After plant power and after the herbarium specimens, I felt that... I wanted to make fashion socially relevant and I wanted to change things. Working in that way it fueled me to, to, to try and say something important. One of the things that I feel when I go to a museum is actually you're there in front of other people's lives. You're trying to understand how basically people have approached the same sort of dilemmas, problems, question marks that I have in my life, that I look at through my work, how they've approached them in their way. To try and see life through other people's eyes I think is the most interesting thing we can do.